and visitors looking for a Halloween treat can visit the Baguio Museum for an up-close look at a mummy. Laila Pangilinan tells us more. The Baguio Museum has its own unique entry to the Museum and Galleries Month this October. The museum features a wide collection of artifacts from different provinces in the region. Our museum is uh, about the collections of the whole of the Cordillera, and Cordillera is made of six provinces. From this uh, museum, makikita nila yung difference ng each of the provinces. But aside from this, visitors can catch a glimpse of a real mummy in the museum. It lies peacefully in a fetal position, resting inside her coffin in an enclosed glass. No one knows her age, identity, and where she came from. Ang tawag sa mga museum technical po, no provenance na ibig sabihin, wala siyang pagkakakilanlan, uh, we don't know where is she from, we don't know kung anong history niya, parang ganun po. So, uh, no document about her. Po, ang pagkakakilanlan is a doctor said she's female, nakikita kasi sa structure ng body or yung sa pelvic bone. But one thing is for sure, she belongs to a rich family. Ang minamamify only is the rich people because of the process nga po, yung, yung pagri-ritual nila from, from the very beginning na namatay yung tao hanggang sa ma, magagawa na siyang mami. It's also like in Egypt that only the pharaohs are mummified. The Igorot mummies are called meking in the local tongue or fire mummies as the process required burning wood around the corpse. Immediately upon the last breath, they will let him drink salt and water. Parang it's like their formalin or a preservative. They use salt in order to preserve the bodies. After this, the body will be cleansed with various leaves, after which the smoking begins. So the body will bloat na, and kasi because of the drunk salt and water, Tapos ilalagay na siya sa cave, pinapaupo siya sa tinatawag nila sa mountain province na sangadil or funeral chair. Tapos parang ngayon, firing or finafaal, meron po siyang smoke in order to dry the body. The whole process usually takes months, even up to a year. In the Philippines, only Igorots practice the preservation of the dead. Because of its cultural importance, the fire mummies were declared as a cultural treasure in 1973 under Presidential Decree Number 260. With this, it is essential to respect the fire mummies in museums or in caves. Uh, ang pinapakausap nga po namin sa mga bisita na wag na lang siyang i-take ng photo para hindi lang siya ma-exploit. Yun lang po, parang to respect the dead person. Pero yun nga po, at least dito sa Baguio Museum, makikita nila ng malapitan. For News 5, Laila Pangilinan, We are One News.